Previously on Fallout New Vegas. After a brief bout of negotiating at the New California Republic's Mojave outpost, Courier 6 was finally able to get a pardon for Myers, who was finally ready to become Prim Sheriff. Although not everyone took to the new sheriff, most of Prim was happy enough just to have someone watching over the town. And so the courier headed back to the outpost to help the local soldiers who were stretched awful thin. <laughs> the extra money didn't hurt either. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Check this out. Fallout New Vegas by some Steve Vegas. <laughs> Sorry. I just like that. I like I like being able to zoom in like that. Look, it looks very cinematic. Man, you would not want to play the game with this, though. What does that do? That, like, um, yeah, decreases your FOV, which is just, like, nauseating. Let's get a nice look on, uh... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright, what are we doing? Let's get out of here. Let's get back to the Mojave Outpost. We got some quests to uh, do, to complete, and to begin. We've got colorful characters to meet. We've got a potential companion to meet. But actually, um, we won't be able to get her yet. Old Cassidy. Let's see here. Let's make sure we're we're doing fair on, on this. Let's see. No, no, no. They went that away. Yep, we gotta go to, uh, old Novak through Nipton. Hmm. Novak through Nipton. One of the greats. Oh, check this out. I don't remember this being here. Was this always here? Huh. I think this is new from one of the, uh, the mods or something? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's just been a while. I don't recall it. All right. Well, let's let's check in with these traders. Caravaneer, traveling merchant, mercenary. Would a caravaneer have anything? Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Uh, okay. Here, let's turn them up a little bit, actually. Good lord. Let's amp up the voices. It's better to uh, be air on the side of it being a little too loud. There we go, turn up the, the music a little bit, it's nice, right? There we go, I think that's good. Actually, you know what? Another one just for good measure. Bam. We're living dangerous. Alright, what about you? Hey there, need anything? Yeah, I need something. Sure, here's what I got. Hmm, maybe we, we went too high. <laughs> Let's see here, what have you got? Anything useful? GRA stuff. Which is um, from one of the uh, old Who's a What's It's. The DLCs. Old cowboy hat, we've looked at that before and we were not amused. Biker goggles don't give you a stat, right? Yeah, no, they did not. We could try going like uh, all Mad Max as hell. Doesn't sell any of that stuff that we would be looking for, any, um, what do you call them, books for picking. Alright, yeah, you don't really have much that we're interested in. But you will buy a few of our things, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's see here. We gotta head on into here. We'll head back into the main building where we were talking to Officer McGillicuddy. Let's see. Oh yeah, we, we have the, um... Oh, what's his name? The Big Kahuna down here. Captain... Old Captain McJames. Major Knight. Back again, I... Um, let's see. No, you don't have anything else. We already exhausted all of his dialogue. But he did re remember, he suggested that we speak to... The main dude. I'm pretty sure he's back down that away, but we're gonna rob him. We're gonna, we're gonna do a bit. Of, we're gonna, we're gonna do some crimes, real quick. Let's see. Hidden. Oh, we're detected there. Don't want that. Look at that. Oh, look, it's him. It's the captain himself. He's spying on us. That fucking walrus-looking motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus. Man, come on, a bit strong with the walrus. Nothing. Empty. I need to remember to check down there where it says empty. Just still in the Morrowind state of mind. My god. It's never gonna leave me. It's a curse. What a terrible night to have a curse. Good god. Filing cabinet. We're being detected. So let's, uh, let's kind of hold off here. <gasps> Jump up! Ugh. Do you bet we can't just have Eddie distract him like with some sweet music? Uh-oh, was I detected? Was I detected? Uh oh, is this we guy- We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Okay, I wasn't detected. 
What about here? Ooh, 20 gauge. What about in here? All these. Sarsaparilla, always good. Uh, oh, wait, am I? Yeah, I'm hidden, I'm hidden, I'm hidden. Caps, and that one's empty. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Who's detecting hey. me? Oh, I guess... Oh, no? Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, jeez. What's she doing over here? Oh, gosh. Hello. Man, our sneak is, is leaves something to be desired right now, huh? Eventually, we'll get that back up. Okay, we can't do it with her on patrol right there. Jesus. She's got this bitch on lockdown. Let's see. We can get some pre-war money, though. Which is always a good thing. Um, let's see here. Tool cabinet, eh, scrap metal, e. Eh. It always amazes me that people still put value in pre-war money on the East Coast. It makes sense on the West Coast of uh, Fallout Universe because, you know, it makes sense that the NCR might want to bring it back or whatever. But I don't know why anyone on the on the Eastern Coast of the U.S. would have any interest in that. I don't know. Maybe maybe um, it's it's through trade contacts, you know, like caravans. It's like, oh, yeah, they're interested in it. So, you know, the value goes up over here. I don't know. I don't know how much uh, contact they have with one another, the coasts. Apparently a little bit. Honey mesquite. Squirrel on a stick. No, you're too heavy. Just a gigantic one-pounder stick squirrel. Whew. Too heavy for me. Too heavy for my freaking noodly arms. Whew. Man, so many cigarettes in here. They just love smoking them up. Yeah, up there, too. Oh, that one was empty. And... Alright, full clear. Hello. Right, and we check this cabinet. Yeah. Almost forgot. Alright. Ranger Jackson. Look at his sweet outfit. Look, he's got like a little, like, big-ass cowboy belt, too. Too bad he looks like a freaking walrus. Looks like we got a new visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry. Only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road north has gone to hell, and if I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Um... You sure seem like you have enough soldiers. Soldiers, no. Recruits, yes. And the Mojave outpost has been ordered to have a standing force at the NCR perimeter at all times. So sending anyone out reduces the outpost's numbers, and would be in direct violation of my orders from back west. Hmm. Yeah, this is like, you know, typical bullshit, right? Old fucking... Bureaucracy getting in the way. Frustrated? No, I have my orders. Signed and approved all the way up the chain from Kimball. And I understand the reasons. The outpost isn't a legion target, yet. Not like Vegas or the dam. But if the caravans get choked here, that's gonna bite NCR hard. Anyway, didn't mean to talk your ear off. Some days, just feel like more requisition forms and daily reports come across my desk than results. All right. Is the NCR sending more troops? Sending more troops, yes. To reinforce the outpost, no. Why the fuck does this troops walrus talk like this? Troops head through here on their way to McCarran, or to the front lines at Forlorn Hope. Or they're on leave, on their way to New Vegas to piss away their pay. All of them, passing through. Taking a shit? No. Taking a piss? Yes. Is there any way I can help? Help? No, look, I appreciate... Uh, you look know at what? this! Yes, he can't help himself, help. he's still doing it! Starts you with a no like and then a yes! Yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Sure thing, man. Sounds like a deal. Thanks. I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with. I like his hat. That's a good hat. Huh? But, uh... <laughs> you really gotta appreciate his freaking aviators. His custom-built aviators that, you know, conform to the shape of his own face. <laughs> it's an older game at this point, right? It came out actually a year before Skyrim, which is kind of wild. Man. Too bad. Hmm. I wonder if they... Nah, I, I suppose they didn't. Because that, that was one of the storied things about um 
New Vegas was how strapped for time uh, Obsidian was when they were making it. And uh, that was actually part of what got them screwed in the end, how they got less pay because it didn't reach a certain Metacritic rating. Eh, tough times. What the hell? Oh, well. At least Obsidian's doing pretty well now. Look, we can just... We can just straight up fast travel down there. What am I doing? But yeah, Obsidian's doing pretty well with the uh, little crowdfunding business, huh? Doing pretty good. Pretty great. All right. Let's see. Where are these ants? We've already killed a lot of them. Pull out our sweet varmint rifle. And we'll sick Eddie on him. Fucking Eddie. Just a deranged lunatic. Just a monster of metal. Ugh. Let's see. Do you see any of them? They're all down there, I think. Writhing around in their own fecal matter. Just eating their own shit. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what ants do. Look at them. Shit, this fucking sweet-ass safari-like music. Man. Oh, shit, it's a big... Big Bubba. It's Big Bubba! Get down, Big Bubba! Fucking Big Bubba's downed. Look at Eddie. Eddie's on the fucking prowl. Lasering these bastards. You think they're like Ant Carapace has a chance of reflecting Eddie's lasers right back at us? Shit, I hope not. Look, there's more of them way back there. We're shooting them in the booty bang. The booty bang? Good thing Eddie's little music isn't, uh, you know, copyrighted. <laughs> Otherwise, every time we, we, we would have to dump our poor, uh, our poor friend Eddie. Poor Eddie. Just wanted to sing some sweet songs, some sweet tunes. Oh, man, Eddie is just, like, icing him, big time. There's there's a few more over there. Look at them. Oh, man, look, we got it. We got it in its stupid leg. Look at it go. <laughs> stupid ants. Oh, my God. I don't know about you, but I used to, uh... I used to wage war on ants a whole lot. Um, back at my great-aunt's house, it was practically, like, my grandma. She had, like, this massive ant infestation right on her, like, front doorstep. I used to always go out there with a fly swatter and just, like, swat the crap out of them. Man, it was pretty wild. Especially the day when I found out that they were all fire ants. What the fuck? Fire ants. People were just letting this, like, five-year-old go out there and fight fire ants. My god. Luckily, in real life, fire ants don't, uh, breathe fire. But, man, at one point she, like, had, uh, like, vinegar? Or ammonia? Um, no. Surely not ammonia. Ammonia is like bad for humans, right? I think it was, I think it was just vinegar or some such. And she poured it down there. Man, they were pissed. And they died. <laughs> Fucking ants. What a bunch of bastards. Look at that. Well, that looks great. What, what do you think that is? What the hell is this? Like a scorpion? Oh shit, it is! Oh! Oh, what the fuck? It's the wall scorpion of Satan's asshole! Jesus Christ! What the hell? Ugh. Ugh. That's unsettling, honestly. Um, let's see. This this meat isn't that great, is it? The nectar, however... Mm. Nectar of the gods. Holy shit, it's really freaking out, man. Should we, like... Is that gonna crash the game? Hmm. We can't dispose of corpses, can we? Shit, maybe we should, like, be safe than sorry. Huh. I feel like... Yeah, okay, let's... Let's <laughs> let's make sure this doesn't fuck us over, alright? I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Let's try to... Oh! Target the scorpion. Disable. There we go. That's the only cheating we're doing. Maybe we should reload, just that way it keeps tracking our stats. I, I think that's how that works. There we go, fucking scorpion trying to set us back in the ultimate way. The ultimate enemy of the wasteland. Holy heck. Let's wait until it's beautiful out, huh? Because there's a few more enemies around here that I'd like to poke around at with my gun. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's another dude over there, huh? Oh shit, there's quite a few dudes, actually. We're on dude patrol. We may as well go looking for dudes. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for dudes! Oh, look, there's one of the dudes. Oh, I think it's too far out. Let's stroll up a little bit. I think that scorpion is dead. I think that ant is, like, feasting on its decaying corpse. 
What the hell? You, would, you wouldn't expect a bunch of giant ants to be fighting scorpions and winning. Look at this. It's like some sort of... It's using its corpse as cover. Look, I'm gonna use my own fucking cover here. In the form of this tumbleweed. Hell yeah. Look at this. Fucking... Look at Eddie. Eddie is so fucking impressed with my sweet skills. That's why he's not pissed at me right now. Look at this. We're sneaking up. Holy shit. It, it doesn't suspect a fucking thing. It can't see us at all. Fucking ants. So dumb. So fucking dumb. Alright. Ha! That's right, you motherfucker! It was me all along! It wasn't a tumbleweed! <laughs> Damn! I'm a fucking master huntsman. Holy shit. Watch out. Courier 6 is coming through. Courier 6 and his good pal Eddie, the fucking monster, monster man. Frankenstein's monster, metal monster asshole. Good lord. Look, there's more dudes way out there. Oh, look, it's coming in for the kill. Oh, no. No, it's getting a little scared. Oh, what's it doing? Look at these dudes. All these dudes just out here. Man, just nailing them left and right throughout all the freaking wastes, the blustery winds. Man, you think we might need like a scarf or something? Or like a, a balaclava. Now, balaclavas don't cover your mouth, do they? There's probably like a bazillion mods that actually make the weather like decay on your character, right? That sounds like some kind of fresh hell that someone would want. Oh man, I fucking love a fresh hell though. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play Dark Souls as much as I do. God, love them fresh hells. Where's the other dude? I'm trying to do the little Vats highlight trick. That's the one interesting thing in uh, Fallout 4 is that little Vats highlight thing. It works on mines, so like landmines are less threatening, but also it means that you're just spamming Vats left and right, which is kind of... Eh, I don't know, take it or leave it. Oh, there they are. Look at them. These aren't even the ants that we need. <laughs> Isn't that right, fucking Ben Kenobi? Oh, yeah. Getting them. Man, ants are pretty terrifying when they're humongous. We're like, <laughs> we're like uh, EDF, huh? Earth Defense Force? Have you ever seen that game? Where you fight, like, gigantic ants? I mean, it starts out with, Oh, shit! Oh my god, we have stumbled upon a treasure trove! <gasps> da 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 da! Oh my goodness. Wow, we have been rewarded. Look at this person. This person had two rib cages. Wow, what a guy! Look at him. More of them out there. More for us to blast. Man, that was pretty good. Sneak attack crit. Owning them up big time. More ants way out there. Okay. Yep, we're just going on an ant killing parade, huh? Oh. Ivanpa Racetrack. Oh, yeah. What do you think they raced out here? Ants, probably. <laughs> just a bunch of people running around on gigantic ants. This was post-war that this track was uh, created. It was... Um, it's actually in the old uh, VDSG, Vault Dweller Survival Guide. It's the official Fallout uh, lore book. Uh, written by, uh, <laughs> Brian Fargo himself, <laughs> about the great ant racers of, uh, of old, of the Mojave. <laughs> they were racing along on big old ants, they had to tug on their antenna. That's actually kind of cute. If it weren't for the fact that ants are disgusting freaks. Ugh. Good God, get out of here, ants. Get out. Nobody likes you anymore. You were fun back when we could race on top of you, but now... <sighs> Get out of here. And look, someone was trying to cheat in the Great Ant Race, which is why they had to shut it down. They had a car. Unheard of. And that's why... <laughs> that's why, as is foretold in the Books of Prophecy and the Books of Fargo... <laughs> the Books of Fargo! <laughs> and... Of, uh, like... Urquhart? The, yeah, the Books of Urquhart and, uh, Fargo... Who, who else did writing? Avalone? <laughs> yeah. And their great novellas... They foretold of the great shutting down of all cars in the United States to uh, prevent this from ever occurring again. That way all the great ant races could be sweet as hell. Good thing you can't fall in there, because that would have been uh, 
That would have been problematic just then. Goodness, listen to this spooky music. Oh my god. Behind us, Eddie, it's the great ant ruler! Oh, it's the Kwama Queen! Jeez! Man. Alright. I guess we're doing alright. Oh yeah, look up here. Can we spy them? I spy with my little eye, Eddie. A sick bastard. No, I don't see anyone. But they're, we're picking them up on our radar. Good lord. Okay. Well, let's skedaddle on back to the outpost and report the good news to, uh, Captain Walrus. Good lord. I could never, uh... I could never pull off a fucking walrus facial hair like that. In fact, I don't think anyone can except for one, one guy. Um, freaking... Oh my god, I can't believe I can't recall his name. Mr. Motorhead guy, right? God rest his soul. What a badass. Alright. In fact, that's that's probably the only reason you could pull it off, because he was such a kick-ass motherfucker. Alright, let's see. Mr. Walrus? Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Uh, you mentioned a reward before? Dude, this guy, he's yes and he's no, he's in and he's out. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries you at the outpost. Son of Still, a bitch. requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go. Just between us. Oh, a service rifle. Oh, look, now I'm weighed down like a big booty hole. Caravan lunch. Oh my gosh, weapon repair kit. Wow, he actually gave us quite a few things. Alright, I'm digging it. Let's see, our service rifle. 12 damage, 61 deeps. 19 deeps. 14 damage. Wow, the service rifle is actually worse in terms of uh, damage per shot. Huh, what do you know, Joe? Wow. Okay, I did not know that. Hmm. Well, Eddie, I got some new Morning. sweet loot for you to carry. <laughs> Poor Eddie. Just a slave to our stupidity, honestly. <laughs> Except for the the part where he dropped my sweet armor. What the hell, Eddie? Yeah, I take it back, Eddie. You son of a butt. Eddie's always trying to screw us over, throwing shopping carts at us, getting angry. Eddie is like a fucking Hanzo main, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Anyone else in here? Should, should we talk to Mr. Walrus again? I can't remember if it's if it's like that. If we, uh... Appreciate the help. Wish Never mind, I'll be going now. Take care. Cool your heels over in the barracks if you want. All right, Ranger Jackson, I think we'll do just that. Let's see, can we actually poke in his inventory a little bit? Yeah, we can. But we shouldn't try and steal anything. Our, our sneak is too hey. god-awful. All right. Oh, they might also, um... Th we can buy stuff in here, right? I think. They might have a good, uh, little who's a what's it. But before we go in there, we should... We should actually check in these. This, is, this isn't what I was leading up toward, but uh, we should actually check in these for some some sweet healing stuff. We're doing pretty good on being... Uh, on avoiding attacks, aren't we? Let's see, what can we stash here? We can stash our 10 millimeter... Uh... Hmm... We don't need our... our 22 yet, do we? We may as well stash it. Let's see. I kind of like having these things on us, though, at all times. Just in case. Well, we don't need that, actually. Like, that way it's quicker to swap things in and out. We don't need the slave scarf. We'll stash that. Thanks, Eddie. Alright, yeah, and we've got cigarette cartons to sell. Like, bazillions of them. Oh, yeah, we should check out here as well. Hmm, anything good? Sacks. Ugh. Oh yeah, these aren't stealing. Okay. Yeah, we can just loot these for whatever reason. They don't seem to give a shit. Man, so much sarsaparilla. Tobacco chew. Eddie, please don't, like, try and chop my head off with a crate. Good lord, Eddie. Oh god. We almost got trapped. Let's see. Buffalo Gourd. Ugh. Ah, very good, very good. Alright. Let's see. Ooh. Anything in this? Nope. 
I don't usually come over this this section. I didn't even know there was a fence gate here. Oh look! There is actually something oh, it's an empty one. Fair enough. Man, yeah, they're really drinking it up. They're boozing it up, which, you know what, I don't blame them. It's fucking stressful being out here. Who knows what the hell could happen. Too bad we can't steal that. I always wondered about that. That deck of cards out here. Hmm. Anyway, let's let's head on up here finally. And talk to old... Old, uh... Calamity Jane. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. <laughs> You a courier? If so, this might be your lucky day. If you don't mind walking a bit. And your eyes are good. <laughs> her, uh, her recording room doesn't match, like, her location out here. It sounds like she was recording it in, like, a... Like a bathroom or something. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it depends on the work. I think there's trouble in Nipton. No traffic from there on the roads. And while I can explain that away, the smoke from the town I can't. I'm sure it's been hit. What I need to know is if they survived it. Might be powder gangers with all that smoke in the air. If there's anybody left, they'd be in the Nipton Town Hall. Go there. Check it out. Let me know what you find. Uh, why don't you check it out? Got my post. Don't think I wouldn't go, too. If troubles hit Nipton, town's got enough camping spots to rack up some easy kills. Not about to have Jackson bust my ass again, though. Even if I came back with Caesar's head, I'd rather be sitting here than in a cell. Hmm. Um... Sure, if I pass through there, I'll check it out. We're gonna pass through there. Better than nothing, but close to it. Listen, I don't want you getting killed for this. So if you head there and run into trouble, I'm asking for eyes and ears, not your life. All right? All right. Uh, anything you can tell me about the outpost? Not much to tell. One of the worst posts in the NCR if you're looking to be anything more than a babysitter. Full up here, but just enough so we can't send out patrols gotta maintain a standing force Jackson's orders NCR's orders can't spare men for patrols or escorts so caravans are backing up here like a Brahmin with a bottle in its ass <laughs> typical NCR bullshit <laughs> typical NCR bullshit sticking bottles up Brahmin asses oh my god that's like never mind I don't want to <laughs> I've seen some videos man the internet is a wild place <laughs> Not by choice, mind you, not by choice. Hear any news from the West? Kimball's Kimball. Not sure which end is his ass or his head. Caravan so he's families president are causing of trouble. Big circle getting tense. The usual. Look, you want gossip? Go to the bar downstairs and listen to a whole lot of nothing. Me? I gotta keep watch, then fill out the daily log. All right. I'll be going. Mind yourself on the plank going down. Oh, okay. She's a pirate as well. Let's see. Can we? No, we can't get over there. No sweet jumps to be had. No secret stashes up here either. All right, let's head on inside the barracks and see who we can see. We might, we might see someone pretty neat. NCR trooper, you bring democracy to this land. This is. DEMOCRACY MANIFEST! Have you ever seen that guy? <laughs> if you- If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up, uh... On the old YouTube, bring up, uh... Oh god, what- Australian man arrested? Or like... Um... Are you prepared to receive my limp penis? <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's worth looking up if you've never heard of it. It's worth it. Alright. Let's, um... Wow. We won't go quiet. Let's actually talk to Lacey first. Count. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? I'll have whatever you're having. It's making you stand up there. Holy heck. Um, any work around here? Work around here? Might check with Jackson in the main building. Or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that, though. Might take oh, a bullet okay. some night when I'm going to the latrine. Uh, anything you can tell me about the outpost? Not too much. A lot of caravans going nowhere. She seemed all right, by the way. Going nowhere Ghost? Too. Few prospectors here and there, but they don't do more than stink up the place. Everybody's backed up here. You'd think it'd be good for business, but most of the traders are tight with the caps. Even the larger caravan outfits. 
Um, I was hoping to pass the time with a game. Oh, caravan. Maybe we'll do that off camera. Maybe I'll do a uh, some caravan off camera because I don't think it's that interesting to watch. And like you know, we already did a caravan montage before, huh? Uh, what do you have for trade? Take a look. All right. What have you got? Ooh, a bunch of weird stuff. She's got a 556, but uh, we're gonna pick one up and nip or Novak. Doctor's bag. No, no locksmith digest or whatever the hell it is. Wow, an assault carbine extended magazine. Holy guacamole. Um, let's pick up some 357. Why not? Okay. And let's see. Let's sell her some of our trash, huh? We've got frag grenades we can get rid of and cigarettes. Let's see here. Oh, we never did make our coffee, did we? Hmm, we gotta look for our little, uh... Who's a what's-it? Lunchbox? Eh, I guess we should ditch the lunchbox. Why not? Hmm, we could get some some good food from uh, Ruby Nash, but nah. It's worth more to just sell it, I think. Can't be bothered. Sorry, Ruby. Don't tell her. Um, hmm. Man, we got a lot of healing stuff, just in case. Which is wild, because we haven't hardly taken any hits. Alright, that's fine for now. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll probably gamble in the off time. Fine, then. Not You've there. seen how many caps I've got. We'll definitely win. Fuck. Hey. With, uh, nine luck? I, I, I'm not sure luck actually affects Caravan, but... Caravan is so easy once you know how it works, and you've, like, made your custom deck. Like, my god, and the more cards you collect, it gets so easy. You can just, like, do a brain dead. Howdy. All right. Cass, what's up? Looking for trouble? Uh-oh. Better make it double. Um, no, I'm only looking around. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. Um, surprised you can see me from that deep in the bottle. Damn, all right, yeah, let's piss her off, I guess. Deep? Ain't deep by half. Closed down the bar yesterday, gonna close it again today. Rinse and repeat. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Um... Back west? Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I'm not from around here, and I'm not NCR. I run a caravan. Or did. Lost my caravan heading north, the driver burned to ash, and they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. Huh. Doesn't sound like raiders. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line, and the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a New Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood <laughs> scribe to tell me that. <laughs> uh, who's Jackson? Oh, is this the great line? She has a great line here. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I already cleared the roads for Jackson. No shit. <laughs> Drinks on me, then. Still, not like I'm going anywhere. Caravan title's still keeping me here, even though it's dead and gone. Hmm, I wanted to ask you something else. What's on your mind? Um, anything you can tell me about the outpost? You're looking at it. It's a watering hole without much to brag about. It's like a Brahmin drive gone wrong. It's supposed to be a gate north, but you come here, you get caught in the pen. Better to head back home. If you don't have a gun and a will... Don't matter much what you do when you reach here, except stare at that fucking monument outside. That fucking monument outside? <laughs> Don't even tell me you missed it coming in. It's like NCR showing its dick to all the east. 
If the Republic put as much effort into protecting the East as they put into those two asinine giants outside, then they'd be worth that monument. Statues of two men shaking hands covered in blood. Don't seem to be nothing to brag about. Damn. Covered in blood? I'm speaking figurative. Isn't any blood on their damn hands. Of course, when Caesar comes walking through here, there'll be blood for real. And after the blood dries in the sun, he'll melt that piece of jet-induced sculpture down and reshape it into a bull, which by my reckoning is making up for a deficiency of his. But no matter what the state of his pecker, he's sure giving the West a good fucking. Damn. Um, what are those statues supposed to be? One's a ranger, one's an NCR trooper, supposed to represent unification of West and East, or some such shit. As far as those two iron lovebirds go, they've got more spine you'll see in a year from the NCR government. Oh, what is this? I think they're both rangers, one desert, one NCR. Huh. Is this because I have some NCR rep? I have no idea, because I'm not part of the NCR, am I? I don't believe so. Well, let's see what it says. Hmm. Huh. Maybe you're right. Broom tats always throw me off. Well, fine, whatever. They can be shaking each other's dicks. Wouldn't change the Mojave <laughs> now. Uh, let's ask about What's something on else. Your mind? Um, let's see, any work around here? If you're looking to sign on with a caravan? No. Traders are bottled up tight here. Caravan works up north. Check with a crimson caravan, maybe. Gunrunners might have work. Wouldn't know for sure, though. Still, if you got a gun, guts, and feeling like going on patrol, might be some of the soldiers around here have work for you. Um, hmm. Running and gunning sounds interesting. Jackson might have something for you if you haven't already spoken to that old buzzard. He was looking to try to get troops to clear the North Road. You can find him over in the other building. The one without a bar. Any other work? I don't know. Seems to be a lot of attention on Nipton. Word is, one of the snipers in the nest on the roof spotted smoke from the east. Man, Cass, you really are drunk as hell. There's just one sniper up there. <laughs> yeah, her name's Ghost or something. Fucking scary. Ooh. <laughs> Guess it's because you'll never see her till you're dead. NCR and their goddamn nicknames. As if Caesar himself's gonna piss and run if he hears them. Anyway, go on and head up top. Ask her what's going on if you haven't already. I don't much give a shit. Her, uh, her, like, script writing is pretty good. The delivery, eh, it's okay. Alright, something else. What's on your m- Um, what are you here- why are you here at the bar? Whiskey and me are old friends. Keeps me going when times get rough. Like now. Got me into the caravan business, you know. Had to start transporting water instead of liquor, though. If I hadn't switched over, I'd end my trip with nothing but glass bottles rattling on the back of the Brahmin. Um, let's see. We What's can't ask her mind? about anything else, right? All right, see ya. You take care now. Yeah, so she well, is a uh, she's a companion. If you haven't ever played, almost makes you wish for a nuclear. If you haven't ever played New Vegas, and we'll be getting her eventually. Wow, look at that! I accidentally hit the scroll wheel a bit. Zoom me right out. All right, let's see. Is there anything... Uh, man, there's a lot of stuff that we could steal in here. Whew. Let's see. What about in these? There's always good stuff in these, I think. Let's take a look. No? Man, maybe they might all just be fucking empty. Jeez. Yeah, there's some really good stuff in these. Turns out they're all fucking empty. Goodness gracious. Let's see. Anything? Nope, nope. Man, they are really all all just empty. Howdy. No dice, huh? Okay. What about in these? Tool cabinets? Nope. Man, it makes me feel like a fucking tool. <laughs> let's see, let's sneak over here. Nice. A flower. Man, good place to lower your karma if you ever wanted. Oh, look at all this. Good stuff in there, but we're detected. And we don't really need it either at this point. All right. Let's get on out of here. We're not going up north yet, though. Because there's a few... There's one... At least one more thing that I'd like to do before we head to old Nipton. Let's see. 
Because when we were along on this road, remember we left a whole bunch of powder gangers out here. And I think it'd be good to just blast the shit out of them, right? Before we leave. Get some good old XP going on. Why not, right? I think that'd be a pretty good thing. Blow them up. Get some dynamite. Sell off. Always a good thing. Oh, look, here they are. <laughs> Jesus! Okay. Uh, let's see. Hit chance is eh, not great. Oh my god, Eddie. Holy shit. Whoops. Hmm, I guess we should take one of their outfits, huh? Since we dumped our old one. Oh yeah, that's right. There's like bombs and shit up here as well that we need to watch out for. I don't believe we disarmed them. Let's see. Eddie, take some of this shit. Good god. Uh, let's see. 9mm, yeah, take all that. Take all the dynamite. Single shotgun, yep. Yeah. Um, there we go. Hmm. Maybe we should give Eddie some of our, like... Some of our juice, right? Some of our... Our drinking juice. Yeah, we've got so much of it. We'll just hold on to... 10. There we go. Man, we got so much juice. We are juicing hard. <laughs> oh, let's see. Can we make some coffee? Oh, here we go. Finally, we got black coffee. Plus two int. Huh. Neat. Oh, we may have already looted this stuff when we came through here, huh? Not much in the way of value, though. Got a bunch of dynamite here. Oh, a note! The note reads, Not many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. Follow the tracks up north. Head towards the strip. You in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we gotta stick together. <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> A little Australian in there, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can we look inside the, the butt of this vehicle? Oh, is this gonna rat us up right here? We're gonna get irradiated? Oh, a cabinet full of booze. Wow. So whiskey is important because Cassidy gives us a little who's a what's it to uh, get some bonuses whenever we decide to drink whiskey. Oh, yeah, look, we're getting a little irradiated. We can't go in there, though. All right. Ugh. Can you hear bubbling? Ugh. Oh, look, there's a gecko running around. The geckos are on the loose. Let's see. What else is up here? More powder gangers? Right? Should be. Oh, yeah, there's, there's where we carved our way through when we were in disguise, huh? Ah, uh, here we go. That's the one place that we need to be little building out here that we haven't gone through yet. Where the hell are you at? Hiding behind a rock, it seems. Oh, and a downed plane. Gotcha. Man, this plane is pretty small. I mean, I guess that's kind of accurate, huh? Like, the, like, early on, they were pretty uh, cramped, right? I'm not a aerodynamicist. <laughs> which, which is the, the correct term, an aerodynamicist. Dynamicist. Jesus. Alright. What all have we got? There should be some bombs. Gosh, I'm nervous about these bombs. Is that one, or is that just a texture? No, it's just a texture. Hmm... Maybe we poke a little bit inside this, um... Oh, is that one? No. Maybe we had already gotten all of them. Ah, oh, shit. They're scary as hell. But I, even though I get scared as hell by the fucking mi mines, I still cannot justify getting that one perk, the light step perk, because it just feels like such a waste. Like, I'd rather get, um... Something that has me do more damage. 
Know what I mean? Shit. Alright, bobby pins. What? Iron? Huh. Wonder if that's used in crafting or something. It must be. Alright. Let's go check out this building. I don't think there's anything good in it, but, um... Worth looking through, nonetheless. Look, there's a little thing over there as well. Should poke inside that. See if there's, uh, some bombs. Neat. Alright. Stealing from the powder gangers, which, uh, gets us bad karma, apparently. But hey, what are you gonna do? I don't mind having a little bit of bad karma. Balances us out. Alright. Yeah, we got, um... Yeah, we're looking good. Okay. Now, like I said, I don't think there's really anything even inside of this one. But hey, maybe we'll get like a randomly spawned in, um... Oh, look, a star cap. Okay. It was totally worth it. <laughs> worth it. Nailed it. Let's see. What else have we got? Oh. Oh, jeez. Empty bottle. Nothing up there. Ammo. Energy cells. Yeah, we might get a randomly spawned, um, magazine that we can use, which would be pretty nice. Our, um, our coffee pot gets used up, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. Huh. Okay. Wow. So can we just keep making coffee? I don't do much crafting in, um, New Vegas beyond making ammo. At least I never have. Uh, this is actually worth quite a bit compared to its weight. Varmint rifle, good for repair. Anything else? No, not really. I mean, I guess we can take more of these. Why not? We can sell them off somewhere. Back when I go to gamble. It's probably not worth it. We can at least repair it once more. Alright. Let's see. Anybody else out here? I'm trying to remember. Oh, there are there are some enemies out here. We may as well take them out. You know, do Good Springs a favor. And then we'll head on off to, um, to Nipton. Ooh. I wonder if, um, the old, uh, friends at, uh, Prim have got their shit working. Their gambling machines. <laughs> their gambling machines! The infernal machines. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Where are they? Who are they shooting? Oh my gosh. What's going on? Who is that? It's Sergeant McGee! What? There really is a Sergeant McGee! And we found him! Don't worry, Sergeant! Here I come! Oh. What the hell? What is this guy doing way out here? Who is he? Is he just here to fucking wipe them all out on his own? He got tired of the bureau bureaucratic bullshit? It's like fucking old Sergeant McGee on patrol. What is it? What? Goodbye. Sir. Who the hell are you, Sergeant McGee? He's got a dog tag on him. Can we take it? Uh -oh. That doesn't belong to you. Uh -oh. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what are you doing out here, McGee? Oh, look, there's more dudes. Look at him, he's got, like, some sort of thing at the ready. Uh-oh. It might be a bomb. You like that? Oh, it's a bomb. Jesus Christ. There's another one somewhere. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Oh! Look, <laughs> he fucking pulls out a switchblade after he uses up his dynamite. Man, maybe we should have just sold it. Oh god, what happened? Oh my god, look at him go! Holy shit, he's got some fucking ninjutsu shit! Oh my god! Holy shit, what the fuck? He was doing flips and shit! <laughs> Jesus, Sergeant McGee, did you see that? Uh, yes, I fucking did. It was fucking, that's why I'm out here, to fucking slay these motherfuckers. Damn, Sergeant. You are hard as hell. <laughs> wow, it's just it's this guy's arm. Does it belong to this guy? Oh, yeah. Whew. That was pretty wild. Drink up a little sarsaparilla. <laughs> Fucking straight razor. What the heck? Oh, good Hello. lord. Ugh. 
Oh, his eyes are closed. <laughs> I thought they were really fucked up looking. I was like, oh god. Man, they got anything good up in this little shack? Oh shit, there are a fuck ton of mines. Sergeant McGee, what are you doing? Oh god, Sergeant McGee is on a... Oh no. Well, he's gonna disarm all the fucking mines for us! Go, Sergeant McGee, go! You can do it, baby! I fucking believe in you! <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh shit! Sergeant McGee! Be careful! Oh my god, he's like one of those little ar green army men. He's a minesweeper one. Oh no, McGee's not gonna make it out the other side. Look at him go! <laughs> I hope this guy isn't important <laughs> later on or something. I don't fucking remember him, but uh... Well, look, here he goes! <laughs> you can do it, Sergeant! I believe in you! <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, no! <laughs> Sergeant McKee! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, <gasps> no! Sergeant McGee has died! He sure did! What? What does that mean? Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> oh, God! Was he important? Oh no, Sergeant McGee, what did you do? What, what have you done? You fucking idiot! No, you gonna got yourself shot up, Sergeant! No! What the hell? Who is Sergeant McGee? I have no idea! Where was he going? He's not part of a quest or anything, why did it give us an alert that he died? Were we supposed to escort him? Where would he be going? Let's see, what's near here? Sloan? Would he be going to Sloan? I don't know. I mean, we don't intend on doing like an NCR and- Ooh, god, look at that. Radioactive shit. Ugh. Why would you want to live in this shack? Jesus, oh, I guess they're just at- Oh, no, not this person. Not entirely, their feet would get irradiated. <laughs> oh, note. The note reads, some of the fellas far north are trying to organize. We've started to think it's a good idea. Gotta pool resources if we're gonna survive out here. Sure you've noticed the decline in travelers? If they're getting wise, so should we. Damn. Alright. Fucking Sergeant McGee. God rest his soul. Let's see here. Man, look. We can't make more than one at once, though. A little weird. I wonder if we get, um... Yeah, look, we get our coffee pot back every time. Look, if we drink the coffee, do we... Here, let's quick save. I want to find out if we get our, uh, our mug back. That would be pretty fun. We just carry around a whole bunch of mugs. Black coffee cup broke. Oh my god, we took a fucking strong slurp of that. Oh, jeez, did you hear it? It broke, for real? <laughs> Man, we're slurping it down big time. All right, sure. Jesus, I feel kind of bad about Sergeant McGee. I don't like that it gave us an alert. Ugh. That's no good. Why did it do that? Oh god, <clears throat> fuck! Oh my god, you fucking powder gangers! You sons of bitches! Who else is out here? Is it geckos? Is this gecko land? I want to clear them out before we leave. Who's out here? Oh god. Were they the ones looking for Sergeant McGee, maybe? <laughs> we could have saved Sergeant McGee, but I just thought it would be more fun to watch him kill himself. <laughs> I'm a fucking monster! Why didn't I help Sergeant McGee? What's wrong with me? Come on. Oh shit! Oh god! Uh, who do we shoot? We shoot this guy, right? This close dude? Look, we can't even calculate how much... how powerful he is. Oh god. It's bugged out a bit. Oh, there we go. Wow, we can't hit him at all in his head, apparently. <gasps> oh well, I guess we're going for the torso. Bam! How you like that? Oh, look at me, reloading. Look, third person reload. Look at that. Mmm, fancy smancy. Ooh. Oh god, look, he's pulling out his baton. What have you done? I shot him! <laughs> That's what I've done! <laughs> what have you done? Oh, he was probably talking about McGee. 
Oh no. Jesus, I, I feel bad about Sergeant McGee. The life and death of Sergeant McGee. Rest in peace, you filthy animal. Hmm. Well, we got his dog tag at least. Should we look inside this? This, um, train thing here before we turn around? We don't want to go up too far north or else we're going to be in Sloan territory, huh? What is that up there? Is that like a bush? What the hell? Can we go inside this? Or is that just a... That's a Fallout 4 feature. <laughs> yeah, you can't go inside train cars until, uh... <laughs> the next game in the series. <laughs> Alright. Well, shit, man. F Sergeant McGee has fallen. Let's head on back to the Mojave Outpost. And, uh... We'll gamble some money. We'll gamble up some money. We'll get some, some big bucks, I think. And we'll sell off some of this trash that we've looted. And, uh, man, I might actually look up Sergeant McGee, because <laughs> if that's a critical thing... I mean, it didn't fail us any quests, right? Hmm, I don't know. Sergeant McGee, I've never encountered him. Maybe he's just a random encounter. He didn't have anything to say. He was going somewhere, though. Man, maybe we should have just followed him. Maybe he would go somewhere cool. I don't know. My God, what a weird thing. All right. <laughs> Till next time. Peace. Peace.